Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm going to be working in one of my older uh, art journals. I make my own journals and I use them for daily watercolors, sketching, and also when I go on trips. This particular journal, I have several pages in it that I didn't quite finish. And so I decided that I'm going to try to finish them up this year. And so I thought, well, as long as I'm here, I'll give you a little tour of this journal. And then at the end of the tour, I'll work on some of the pages and I'll do a little fast forward so you can uh, see me work on them. Here are some little sketchbooks I made recently using the same technique I use for my all of my sketchbooks. This one has a nice cover with the ferns on it. This shows in progress. It just needs the cover added. This was made with uh, sketch paper, Strathmore sketch paper. Here's the sewing. And I have videos on how I do this. So if you would like to make any kind of book for yourself, a sketchbook or a journal, a writing journal, a drawing journal, a painting journal, uh, you can follow those instructions. It's a traditional type of book binding. So back to this one, it's like I said, it's from a few years ago. And on this particular book, I had um, an idea that I would do mixed media. So I work in watercolor, color pencil, pencil, and pen and ink. And uh, I thought that I would make a different border for each page, design something different. So this one is a sort of quilted border done in color pencil and then this is a sprig of juniper with berries done in watercolor and here is a juniper tree laden down with a heavy snow and i did a pencil border of wood with different kinds of joints there's screws there's a slotted joint there's a peg joint there's a mortar and ten tenon joints. And here's a pencil drawing of a little girl feeding geese at the local park. And then I did a watercolor and pen and ink border on that one. And these were two little girls that came up to me at the park and they said, draw us. And so I did a pencil drawing of them and then I came in later and did a um, watercolor border. And then here's another uh, duck at the park, and I did some calligraphy using the Gutenberg font. I like to find quotes, too, for my pages. So any of these books that don't have quotes, I'll be looking for quotes also. So here's pen and ink and watercolor studies of a little uh, Pacific tree frog. And some little flies, because that, that's what they like to eat. And so then starting here, I was on a trip, and I was at a an RV park, a KOA, and uh, in my, I had a van that time, a little camper van at that time, and these are just some little plants that were growing in the area, probably weeds, I didn't identify them, and a simple pen and ink border. And then I um, arrived at my cousin's house. She had invited me to come visit. She is also an artist, and at that time she had a little art school for students and adults alike, grade school and high school, whoever wanted to um, learn uh, oil painting, oil pastels, and some other mediums. And she uh, invited me to come for a week and teach watercolor, which I did. So this is a barn near her house. She um, lived in Kaysville, Utah at that time, which is uh, right on the Great Salt Lake. And this border is watercolor on the outside, color pencil, 
where it overlaps and watercolor on the inside. So this interior square has color pencil and then this rotated square where it overlaps the watercolor is done in color pencil so every other uh, section and then with the ink outline and then one day my cousin and I went to a park and we just sat in the shade and we painted and there was a little river in the park and the kids were boating and people playing all over the place and this is one of course that I didn't finish and then these were some plants that I found near her home when we went on a walk. So there's some alfalfa with some blossoms and some wild cherries. And this is all done in color pencil. And of course I didn't finish the border. Then I left my cousin's house and I went to Grand Teton National Park and I sat in the museum and I did a color pencil sketch of this Apache buffalo horn headdress. And then around in the border, I copied off figures from uh, a rawhide decorated with uh, warriors and horses and buffalo. And so I need to finish that. I do have some color notes on there. In that same museum, I did a color pencil sketch of a crow buffalo shield from eastern Montana. And um, I stopped to Teton National Park and I painted the mountains. And then in my campground, I did these pencil sketches of some of the critters that uh, were in the campground, some little chipmunks and rabbits. And then I did a stone border. And this is unfinished also. And here's another unfinished. It seemed like even though I was on my own and I could give myself as much time as I wanted to sit and draw, uh, it didn't seem like I really had enough time. So this is color pencil and it's some little wildflowers that I found uh, in the area. And this is the on the Snake River in Jackson, Wyoming. Just some rock formations and the hillside and the river which looked green and then when I returned home to Nevada I did this watercolor study of some poppies this one I didn't evidently started and didn't even get started with that one and then I went up to Lake Tahoe and there's a, a place up there called Talak Historic Site and I did this pencil sketch of the gazebo, which was rebuilt as it would have been in the 1920s. And then I sat for a while on the beach at Lake Tahoe and uh, did a little watercolor of the people swimming and some pen and ink of little things that you would find on the beach, stones and feathers and, and pine cones. And then I'm back at home and I did this study of some quail eggs. And then I took some classes up at uh, Lake Tahoe. And this one day we were sitting on the pier and off in the distance in the lake, there was a funnel cloud. And the park ranger came and said that we needed to get off the beach because there was a tornado on the lake. Imagine that, a tornado on Lake Tahoe. So real quickly, I did this eyewitness painting of the tornado, which in the newspaper they called a water spout. And so there's a photograph that someone took who was actually on the lake of the water spout. So I stuck that in there. And then here's a color pencil drawing I did of a little bag that I purchased, a little beaded leather bag and I uh, had a rawhide uh, strap to it and had some little beads and stones and things on it. A little piece of abalone down here at the bottom. And then at home again, I found this poor little bird that had died, most likely of natural causes. 
and uh, I did a study of it. I like doing nature studies. And here's another unfinished one where I was at another lake um, north of where I live. And these are uh, things that you would find on the shore of a lake, snail shells and stones. And then I did this uh, drawing of some horses in the distance. And then I went to Texas to visit my brother's family. And I did this study of an oak leaf and some acorns, a young acorn and then a, a ripe acorn. And down here a blue jay and a little squirrel. And I went to an, uh, a botanical garden, an arboretum and botanical gardens in Houston, Texas. And I did this painting of a koi pond. And you can see there's several koi in there. And then I never did any more. I still have a dozen pages that, that I didn't fill in. I evidently made a new book and started all over again. So I'm going to choose one of those to work on now. And um, I'll fast forward it and you can just uh, see how I uh, how I work different ways. I finished this little border. I put in maple leaves, oak leaves, pine needle leaves, uh, pine cones, and I put it in a little shadowing, a little cerulean blue for shadowing. And I think that's done. I could still come in and put in some darker darks back here. and. Uh, so it's just an impressionistic type of painting. It's not anything precise. It's just a fun uh, image captured from a fun day, getting to sit in the park with my cousin, who I don't get to see very often. 
We used to spend a couple of weeks at Grandma's house in the summertime, and we did a lot of artwork to do together, and Grandma took us to the local art shows at the uh, community center. And uh, we had such a good time, and we've been such good friends. But now we live quite a distance apart, and we don't get to see each other as often. So this paper is not meant for watercolor. It's a little bit uh, difficult to watercolor on. The, the paint soaks into the paper rapidly, but it also lifts off very easily if you paint over it. And it's best with a kind of a dry brush. So that's another page finished in my unfinished book and thanks for stopping by and joining me in this. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of uh, demonstration, if you just like to see me catch up on my own painting, or if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. Have a great day crafting. Mm -hmm.